You have some nerve to show your treasonous face around here. Some nerve indeed. Treasonous? I don't know what you could possibly be talking about. Why let Namine go? If it weren't for your needless meddling, we could have turned the Keyblade Master to come and serve us. Oh, right, your big plan. You use Namine to rewrite Sora's memory piece by little piece, and he turns into her total puppet. Then, using Namine and Sora together, you and Larxene overthrow the organization. Am I right? I would say that you are the traitor, Marluxia. Since when were you suspicious of us? Do either one of us have the heart to believe anyone? Hm. So you only eliminated Vexen to obtain proof of our plan. That I didn't want to do. But it was your order. Oh. Remember the order. You must eliminate the traitor. I always follow orders, Marluxia. Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. Oh uh, yeah, I know it's been a while, and I told you this floor would take me forever to complete. Um, I probably would have been done sooner, but uh, I'm actually at the last stretch for school right now, so... That's pretty much the only reason why it's really giving me trouble to actually find time to record this, but... I believe I'm almost done with the game. This might actually be my final recording session, so... Let's hope all goes well. Now, last time I left off, we started off Castle Oblivion, and uh... Actually, I forgot to mention, in the beginning of this video, you're probably gonna see two little cutscenes that occurred... ...while I was clearing out the rooms. Um... I believe it's when I entered this room and this one. I believe, like, they gave, like, two little cutscenes. So you know something is going up with Marluxia and Axel right now. So, yeah, the thing is, uh... These two rooms I can't get into yet because this will open once you clear out the Key of Beginnings room. And, of course, is the exit room up here. I went ahead and got the, uh... Uh, treasure room, which uh, contains Super Glide, which, uh... Well, it's essentially glide, but you go faster, so I guess it's helpful. Um, it was a little pricey to get into, but nonetheless, I went in there anyway and got it. And I believe one of these, I got, yeah, Guarded Trove, I got something called Raging Storm, I believe. I can't really remember. It, like, summons a lot of, like, fiery tornadoes around you, and I, I mean, I guess it's all right. And, like, when I was going through this, I, ch I kept trying to think... Will be the best way to like you know reorganize my deck and whatnot. And here is what I got. So f actually, I, I did change it, but then I kind of reverted back to what I had before. Excuse me, as you guys can see right here. The only thing he I changed is instead of using Mushu, I have a bunch of blizzards. You might be wondering why would you take that out? Uh, common sense. We would think to know one of the certain enemies we're gonna fight coming up next uh, doesn't necessarily. Uh, have a weakness weakness towards fire, so I had to switch out Mushu for Blizzard. And pretty much I kept everything the same. Oh, oh, never mind. I got rid of um my high potions or mega potions and ethers, and I simply switched out for elixirs and a mega elixir. So it makes things a lot better. I mean, yeah, these are like really low cards, but if I pair it with you know high level cures, then I can reload all my cards and get a little bit of healing at the same time, so that's pretty cool. Well, I have two. Uh, I doubt you're probably going to reload your cards twice, but, you know, hey, is emergency cases. And when I was using Musha, I totally just forgot to realize that, why don't I use some enemy cards? Because it turns out when you use a Fire Nocturne card, it powers up your fire-based abilities, and as I explained before, Mega Flare is Fire Elemental, which it shouldn't be, but it is. So, this powers it up pretty well, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna take these out right now, because I don't think I need it at the moment, because I don't have any fire in my deck yet, but I'll put that back in um, after I'm done with this upcoming fight. And I'm, I'm, I'm equipping the Maleficent card, because it's pretty good. 
it just powers up my attack cards. Yeah, it's going to sacrifice reload speed, but I don't think I've ever reloaded that much anyway, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. So, there's that. I'm, I'm sure there's stronger cards I have here, but I just I haven't really incorporated them. I don't know if I will, so... And I tried using different slights. I tried using Judgment and, uh, and Lethal Flame. I mean, they're good. I just... I wasn't really my preference to use them, so... Oh, well. Oh, crap. I was, this video was going on for... This is me explaining for five minutes. Damn. All right, and uh, and actually one more thing. This really took me forever to clear, as I already mentioned. So like when I got to about like right here, I started getting lazy and kept using uh, Moog, uh, mingling room cards. They kind of like a randomization. So that's why I have like a moments re reply, which I never use, but it just happened to um, make that card for me or make make that room for me, which I really don't care at the moment. I'm like I'm, I was like oh I just don't feel like fighting anymore. So. Yep, there I am. I, I, I reached, like, what, level 74, which is pretty much my highest I've been. I I, ended, I beat, beat this game before on level 70, so I should be all right now, definitely. Uh, okay, so here is a key beginnings room. Probably, I think it's the least, I mean, the last uh, room we actually got to synthesize or use cards for. And you can imagine, you can see right here, like, oh, that's not so bad, and you see 99. Now, that might be like, oh crap, it's a lot. Well, not really, actually, if you have all these cards we already have. The problem is, if you have a random Joker, I would recommend saving it for this room. But the thing is, I already used it when I was using my Super Glide ability, the Treasure Room, and I thought I had more random Jokers, turns out I didn't. So I was like, ah, oh, that sucks. So, let's just go ahead and break these cards. Uh, so any three. I know I have a three here somewhere. Oh, there we go. And now the tedious task of getting rid of the 99. Well, let's get rid of these because I'm never going to use them. And might as well get rid of these as well. I wish you can use zeros, but you can't. Um, what else? Almighty oh, Darkness, I'll never use. Uh, uh, maybe. Tranquil. Actually, it doesn't even matter anymore. I think I can just get rid of anything. Actually, I have a lot of blue cards I can probably get rid of. Oh, yeah, definitely. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, how about... Yeah, these are good. And... See, not bad. I just got rid of a lot of cards I really didn't need. Oh, no, I actually got another rewards card. Didn't notice that. Well, in any case, guys, let's see what's behind this door. I really hope I'm prepared. So, let's see what's going to happen. Luxine paid the price for disloyalty when she disappeared. You must do the same! <laughs> the organization's betrayed. In that name, I will annihilate you. That line's not you. Well, had to try it once, you know. Is that your shield? Won't do you any good, I'm afraid. I wonder. Are you listening, Sora? Oh? Axel says he's willing to harm Naminé to get me. You won't let that happen, will you? Oh, come now. You're Marluxia's puppet already? After I finish you, he's next! Hmm. <laughs> now, Sora... We've got more in common than you might think. I'd really rather not fight you. 
but I can't dishonor the organization now, can I? Yes, that is right. We get to fight Axel. If you didn't figure it out from using my Blizzard cards or equipping them, he's a lot harder than he was in the very beginning of the game, guys. So watch out for that. He has a lot more health, he has a lot more agile, and he has a lot more slights. But you know me, Sonic Blade. Oh, I should probably, should probably should use the uh, Maleficent to power up my cards a little bit. There we go. Actually, it doesn't seem to help. Actually, it doesn't count for slights. I forgot. That's why. Oh well. Now the Sonic Blade deck, as you can see, is not the greatest. Um, it'll take off some health, but um, not quite, not a lot. Now, you gotta be careful using Sonic Blade because he he likes to warp or lot warp a lot. So you kind of get him right after he warps, because he might just totally miss and uh, not get him. All right. Try this. So using Sonic Blade, we got rid of uh, just about three health, three life bars. Let's see how Freeze works. Ah, crap. And he'll... Oh, nice, 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 nice. And don't forget, he will break your cards. Oh, let's see how Cloud works. Actually, he has a zero card already up and prepped. Yep. Ah, that's what I was worried about. Let's see, 12. What the hell? I, I can wait for him to finish up. There you go. Oh crap, see, this is why I, <laughs> I forgot the... I don't, I'm gonna put more zero cards in there. Um, I haven't in quite a while. I gotta put zero cards to break his, some of the slides because... Using... The thing is, I want to keep using Mega Flare, especially for the final boss fight and whatever, but... I'm afraid... Ooh, shit. Oh crap. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. It's been a while since I played this, haven't I? Well, let's continue. I'll leave this in. Screw it. It's been a while since I actually gave you guys a video. So, um. You know what? I can put in a lot of zero cards, can't I? Yeah, I definitely can. Um. Just gotta find them. Now, I like putting my zero cards, I haven't told you guys already, at the bottom of my deck so I can, like, quickly reload to them if I need to. Uh, let's see what other zeros have I got. No, zero here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, zero here, and probably don't need another one. That's, but, uh, for the hell of it. One more! Okay. Now I should be ready. Again. Hopefully. Skip. And if you don't, if you don't know, then yeah, you can skip events. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I, uh, Maleficent Pie wasn't, it's not good to, I guess it doesn't work for slides, and, but it's still good to use, nonetheless, if you don't use slides. Come on, Axel. There we go. Ah, oh, jeez. As you can tell, it's been quite a while since I've played this game. So, it's actually been like a, what, a month and a half or so since I've actually recorded this, so... Of course, I'm going to be a little rusty, but you know what? I'm so close to ending the game, and I, I need someone to take my, you know, take my head off of school, or take my mind off of school. I didn't even get the wording right there. So, I just want a break. I'm just, so I'm just going to record for a little bit. Hopefully, I can finish this game. Come on. There we go. I would think it would work a lot better. Well, actually, it, it does work pretty well. Um, zero, zero. There we go. That's why zero works. <laughs> and I'm gonna use Cloud for the hell of it because I know it won't work. Uh, never mind, it actually did. Uh, a little bit. Oh, uh, zero, zero, zero. See? Very good to use that. Ah, uh, crap. Zero again. I can't. There we go. No, 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 no. So, there you go. That's why zeros are nice. It breaks the slates. And I have my elixir, so I can... Crap. Oh, never mind. I got him. I can use zero. I, I was going to say. I have my elixir, so it can reload those cards whenever I need it. So, see, this fight's going off a lot easier now. I just got to... I had to put some zeros in my, uh, my deck, and uh, I'm all good. 
Of course, using slights isn't really the really best idea because he can probably easily break it. But, you know, it's all good. We got it. Come on. Almost dead. This is for shaming me because I lost. Alright, we got this in the bag, hopefully. Just gotta use this and we're good. Oh, one more time. And, oh crap. And we're good. Oops, get my microphone there. Ah, there we go. Not so bad once you actually figure out everything. Um, I just really hope... I really hope I can do well in the final boss fight. But there you go, guys. That was Axel. And we have his card. I wonder what it does. Perhaps we'll see. You're better than I thought you'd be. It was worth saving you after all. Saving me? What do you mean? <laughs> Sorry, I would hate to kill the suspense. Axel! And uh, I guess that was it. So now, after now that we defeated uh, what's his name, uh, Axel, the room that I couldn't access before is now accessible right here. Which, um, huh? Oh, please don't tell me I have to clear this room as well. Jeez. No, I could have sworn. Hmm. I'm not sure what the hell this room is. I could have sworn that you have to fight a boss in here, but maybe not? I'm not entirely sure. But in any case, we're going to go there and see, because I can't remember for the life of me anymore. So, that's what we're going to be doing next time, guys. And I'm probably going to switch my deck over to include... Uh, let me check here. I'm probably... Er, get, oh, damn. Oh, my God. I can't remember the damn controls anymore. I'm probably going to get rid of these blizzards. I don't think I'm going to use them again. Probably switch back to Mushu and the... Mega Flare Slights, but once again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little, I don't know if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really use them that much, just because bosses will use zero cards, and those slights do take a, a little bit uh, to charge up or to, to actually use, so I'm not really sure if it's going to be any beneficial, but nonetheless, I guess we're going to give it a try anyway, and I, I'll re-equip our Red Nocturnes, and uh, I guess I'll keep Maleficent for... Worst case scenarios anyway, but yeah, I believe that's it guys. So next time we're gonna hopefully finish off the game, or get close to it anyway. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. See you guys later.